Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to continue with the electric vehicle modeling in Simulink. And in my last videos, I was able to illustrate how you can model a battery pack and measure the voltage. Yeah, for today, um, my main focus will be on mechanical side now, whereby we have some spinning gears. Then later we are going to couple mechanical to electrical forming electromechanical system. Battery pack is electrical system, gear system is a um, mechanical system. Then it, then we are going to use a DC motor and couple these two to form electromechanical system, which will be used to drive our electric vehicle. Okay, for some fundamentals, as you can see, battery pack is connected to DC motor. We are going to use a controller so that we can be able to control our DC motor. I will illustrate in a deeper details how you can model a control system for DC motor. Okay. Then, you have to understand variables. For you to understand how to model EV systems or how to use Simulink, you have to understand variables. You have to know this energy flow goes through across times through. For example, for you to get power, power is V times current, voltage times current. This means for you to measure voltage, this one, this is the sensor for the voltage has to be connected parallel to the system. Remember when we are measuring the voltage of our battery pack, we connected the sensor, the voltmeter, we always connect to a voltmeter parallel to what you are measuring, which is a, a cross. Okay, then current, you always connect to a current through, through the circuit, which is the in series. Across means parallel, through means series. Therefore, that's how variables are usually connected. Okay? For example, for you to measure the, for the domain of hydraulic domain, for us to measure the pressure, we'll be using a cross. You have to connect your pressure sensor across. In, that means it is parallel, parallel to the component you are measuring the pressure. Then for you to get a flow rate, remember flow rate is uh, this is how the liquid, if it is the liquid, this is how the liquid is circulating through the system. So for you to measure the flow rate, you have to go to a flow meter in series with the components such that the liquid have to pass through. Therefore, it is, it is a, a through variable, okay? You have to understand all these variables. For example, mechanical rotational, the torque. Torque is a through variable, but for you to measure the angular velocity, you measure the angular velocity of a specific component using a cross variable. This is a cross variable because it is angular velocity across certain component. But this is a talk through the system. Same case applies to pneumatic thermal, thermal liquid. Okay, let's now start modeling mechanical system. See you in my next video. Bye.